Some unicorn spit. You saw this used before. We got some little cups, shot glasses. A little ruler here. Ideally, you want a translucent cup so you can see through it. So what I'm going to do is I'm literally putting the ruler inside the cup. You won't be able to see this. And I'm going to measure. I'm going to mix this three to one. So I've marked off 30 mil and a 10 mil line above that inside the cup. Oh, look, you can see the two lines. We're going to use this flow troll stuff. Bit of flow troll. And I'm going to fill up to the 30 mil line. 30 mil line. Let's go with a base colour of pink. And I'm just putting in the pink up to me 40 mil line. So I'm mixing this in. That makes it a slightly lighter colour, but the flow troll dries out clear, so the colour will come back a bit. So I'll make sure that's mixed in. And that's a little bit thick. It's not too bad, but what we want it to do is run off the stick and just slowly form in the top, not drip off the stick like that. So we need to add just a tad of water, not a lot. So I'll just give it a shot. Uh, if I stir that into there, this uh, unicorn spit has got essential oil in it. That's why it smells. I think it's jasmine or something. Don't quote me on that. I didn't read up on it beforehand. And now uh, it's just a tad thick there. So another little shot of water. There. And now it's rolling off the stick and just sitting on the surface and sinking into the paint. That's roughly where we want it. Now what we want is we're going to mix about three to one, a few colours to mix into this. So I've got a little measuring cup, it's got lines on it. So if I go 20, somewhere there, it's just a bit under 20, because I'm not going to put 10 of colour in. Need the flow troll there, we're going to need that. Uh, and let's have a bit of this one. This is violet, or in unicorn spit terms, purple hill mystery. And then we just bring this up whoop, to the line, somewhere about there. There we go, that's mixed in. That's just a little bit thick, so. A little bit of water, a couple of drips. That is just a little bit. A little bit more. Stir that in. There, and it runs off and pulls on the surface. That's about right for that one. Now we're going to go with roughly up to that the line. I've lost my lines back there. That's cool. We'll do the same with that one. Back there. Same with that one. About there. They're fairly even. That's the end of that. Shake this one up. Bit of teal blue, to about there. Bit of dark blue, to about there. To about there. Get rid of them. Another lolly stick. Stir this one in. 
They've got this in glitter as well, so you could put glitter into it if it takes your fancy. A little bit thick, a little bit more water. That's better. That flows. This one has to tap more. That's about it there. Last one, stir this one in. The old till. Bit of water. A little bit more. Better off adding a little bit at a time on the water front to get the consistency rather than putting all the water in at once. There we go, that's drizzling off of there. So we want the paint to drizzle. So what I'm going to do is put a shot of silicon oil. Just cut the drips in the smaller one. I'll put a big shot in the other one. Okay. So now we got our big cup. Stir that silicon into there a bit. Hit this a mix and we're going to tip a bit of red get rid of that stick this is called dirty pour dirty pouring we're going to do some dirty pouring you can see why it's called dirty pouring in a minute bit of red slap the blue in just add a bit of time in sort of layers. Bit of teal. Bit of the mauve. I'm going to put a bit of white in here. Just on top. Oop. Bit of white. Might just put in a little bit of black. Yes, a little bit of black. A few drizzles of black. Go back to a bit of blue, or a bit of red, a bit of blue, don't matter what order really, I don't suppose. A bit of red, a bit of teal, a bit of mauve, a bit of white, a bit of red, a bit of blue, a chunk of teal, Bit of mauve, a few dots of white, a few dots of black. Yeah, I've got it, might as well use it up. So, red, the blue, the teal, mauve. Get rid of our little pots. Here's me pot in me chuck. Move the water out of the way. Get me pot. Now you'll see why I wanted me pot to be that size. Now, me top pot fitted over the top. And now what I'm just going to do is slowly release this, moving it around. Oh, that was a bit much in one go. Had to come out sooner or later. Get that to come out. Now what I'm going to try and do is manipulate the paint around the vase. We're getting there, out that way. that back that way a bit that's got it you can see now the way the paints are blending in and fragmenting the oils in the paint with the water make it go in little cells I can put air dryer on it to help it along nearly 
that's that bit covered. I've got, uh, so I'm just going to let that run for a while. There. Now it's sort of fragmenting as we're talking. And it's creating cells, what they call cells. Um, and they'll develop as it dries out. You can see some of the cells there with the pinks and the blues. Uh, 